Hello, this is the Impromptu Speaker Day 30, 30th of January 2010. Um, you may have noticed the um, microphone I'm using has changed. I uh, took the plunge and I've invested in a quite a nice looking uh, microphone, so um, hopefully things uh, the recording should be a bit clearer. I know there's been a bit of distortion on previous recordings, which uh, should now hopefully be sorted out. So let's uh, get cracking with uh, with today's um, speech. Winter Olympics. Um, the Winter Olympics are now two weeks away. I believe the opening ceremony will be um, actually a week on Sunday. Obviously, over in um, Calgary. Uh, sorry, in um, where are they? I know the the skiing's in Whistler. Um, that's quite awful. Um, well, I can still continue to talk about the Winter Olympics, even though the location has... Um, uh, I've lost the location for a couple of moments. Um, I'm a big fan of the Winter Olympics, uh, particularly the skiing. I've, um, I've been skiing since I was a young child, since I was about three or four years old, and then used to race until I was about 18. So I know the exhilarating feeling that downhill races get when they throw themselves um, into, I guess, what can be called two minutes of uh, euphoria, excitement, and downright just crap in your pants. Um, excuse the uh, language, but that's pretty much what you do: is you're flying down at sort of, you know, well over a hundred kilometres an hour, which on motorways um, you'd be breaking the the, the speed limit. But obviously the Olympic Games are much more than just the skiing. There are a huge number of um, different sports. Some I'm not so familiar with, um, such as Langlauf or curling. Uh, but you've got you know, ice skating. You've, you've got a huge array of quite incredible sports. Um, I guess they've never had the same presence as the um, Summer Olympics. Um, I guess because Summer Olympics came first and the Winter Olympics were were added at a later date. I'm sure because there were many um, winter sports people who felt that there was a place for a Winter Olympic Games. Um, but personally, I'm very much looking forward to this year. The time difference will be a bit of a pain in the backside for people living in the UK, but can't wait. Bring on the Olympics. Two weeks to go. Thank you all for listening, and um, you'll hear from me tomorrow.